Welcome back, everyone. This is Adrian Z. Today, as you can see, we are playing on the Too Crafty Amplified SMP server. And I've got some things to show you before we really get started today. Um, as you can see, I had to double my furnace here. I need to build some fancier furnace. I've been putting that off for a while. Just ran out of lava. Need to go get some more. But uh, I've got cobble, cobble, and uh, torches. Cobble after cobble. Like all of these chests are full of cobble. That's full of cobble. Full of cobble. All of these chests are full of cobblestone. All of these chests are full of cobblestone. Um, I've been cooking a lot of it already. I had about a, a double chest and a half full uh, of smooth stone. Now all of these chests are full of smooth stone. I had to build another row, which is filling up with smooth stone. Um, and I'm going to get to where all of that came from in just a minute. I will show you. Uh, but before we do that, I need to take a trip to spawn. Um, three things to do over there. One, at the end of the last episode, I mentioned I would show you how the other end of the uh, nether tunnel here ended up. So we're going to take a peek at that. And then I've got to do a couple of quick things at spawn before we come back and take a look at where all of that stone came from. So we're just going to run down our nether, nether tunnel here. Um, I've been doing nothing but digging for days now it seems. I've had to repair a diamond pick uh, I think like 15, 16 times something in there. I accidentally broke one efficiency 5 pick that was terrible but uh, I was able to get another one and continue. <laughs> Alright <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the uh, here's how the end of the this end of the Nether tunnel turned out. I just have some lamps lining the stairs since the Nether hub is a little bit lower than where I have my tunnel at. And then I've just got uh, four horse stalls on either side of our little area, and then just some little lighting down the middle. I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I am going to be adding a. Uh, just a little one by two walkway. I just have to decide where to put the entrance on this side. I haven't really decided how to get into it yet. Um, I may even just stick a ladder up and go somewhere, but I'm gonna make just a one by two walkway with an ice floor um, because when I come over here to go to the end, I can't bring my horse because then my horse gets stuck over here. Get, get, get. No, no. Um, because once I go in the end, of course I to spawn back at my bed at the base and then my horse will be stuck over here so it doesn't really work to use horses to go to the end but uh, if I have an ice tunnel then when I go to the end I can just and fly over there on the ice anyhow I have a couple of quick things I need to do let's just go this way first we need to stop by Zaid Mart <coughs> which let's see that probably wasn't the fastest way to go but it'll do so many areas to different walkways and yeah anyway we're gonna go there in a second but first we're gonna come in here to Zaidmar and check this out right here got another 26 diamonds waiting for us which I'm just gonna stick in the ender chest with all of this stuff here Let's take all this out. I need to do some uh, restocking. Let's see. I'm going to bump up the supply of swords and uh, tools to five each. So I've got some more swords, some more picks. That's completely out of axes. Let's put those in there. And then a shovel. And then I'm going to go uh, put a couple more suits of armor in here. Uh, whoops, those are leggings. Um, I need to get some serious stocking up done before 1.8 because they've made some uh, changes to villager trading and some of it may be a little bit more difficult to get. Some of it's easier but we're just going to make sure I've been stocking up sugarcane and emeralds and uh, we're going to make sure we're fully stocked before 1.8 comes out. But there is finally a second shop at spawn. This is studly flowers 
This shop was built by Stud Muff and Sam. You can check out his, I think it was his last episode still, um, that he built this in. So you can check it out. He is accepting clay as payment. That's clay clay, not hardened clay. So I went out and farmed just a little bit. I have a lot of the stuff that's already in here. Um, I will probably return at some point uh, for some of this kind of stuff I don't have um, when I need some stuff to decorate with. He's got, uh, I think, all the different, yeah, all the saplings in here. I'm well stocked on those, though. Even sells pumpkins and melons. He has all the uh, leaves in here if you want those. Uh, so I may, probably won't use much of the stuff on this side of the store other than maybe some of these for decorating, but flower wise. Um, when I, whenever I need uh, some decorations and stuff, I can just farm some clay. He's got all of the different flowers. I think he actually has every single kind. But today, we are just going to be buying a few things. And I will show you why we're getting these specific things. I'm going to get all of the two tall flowers from him. I already have the, uh, what's this thing called? The peony. I already have some of those, but I am going to buy some lilacs and some roses and some sunflowers because I don't have any and you can see it's uh, eight flowers per block so there's three times eight there's your three clay sir thanks for the shop Sam um, whoop, got a chicken egg well, that's that's got some distance on it Anyway, now I'm going to run. We are going to take a quick trip, and I am going to show you where all that cobblestone came from, and I'm also going to show you real quick why I want the two high flowers. So I'm just going to run back to my base, and I will be right back. All right, so we are back, back at my base. Let me grab a little bit more of this. I'm going to show you real quick why I need the two high flowers. Um, as you remember, a few episodes ago for New Year's we put on a fireworks display and one of the things you need for fireworks is dye and that's the lovely thing about these two high flowers to make some fireworks we can get lots of free dye from them because if I just take any of these like say the rose bush every single one of these whichever color they give every single flower gives two free dye of that color so I can get like the red um, the sunflowers give the yellow the lilacs give magenta, and the peonies actually give pink. Um, or these are the peonies. Are these give pink? And the nice thing about these is all you need is one flower, and some bone meal. And any of these two high flowers it works on all of them. You hit it with bone meal, see that flowers fly off, fly off of them. Um, so whenever we want to do a fireworks display, now we can just come over here. Say I want some yellow fireworks, maybe some red. Combine some of those, get some orange. We've got pink. We've got magenta, so there's four free colors right there at just pretty much an infinite supply because we have lots of bones and we can always go hang out at the skeleton farm if we want more. So that's why I needed to buy some two high flowers from Sam. Um, but now, um, before I show you where the cobblestone came from, it will be the same place. I'm going to show you where all of this came from. Look at all these slime balls. Um, I was using my looting sword to kill slimes until I probably got about here. And then I gave up on that and just started punching them. And I still was able to fill up that double chest and almost half of that chest. And I'm actually going to run back to spawn off camera. Maybe on camera. I'm going to put some of these, let's just stick with my ender chest for now. Uh, we're gonna go add slime balls to Zaydmar, I just decided. Stick all these in there. Um, I'm probably, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell a stack of slime balls for one diamond. And I'm also, now first we're gonna show you um, where all the cobblestone came from, where all that slime came from. It is just right over here, and then I'll finish talking about what I was about to say. Let's see, come in here. Um, I'm probably going to do the rest of the episode today. We're going to finish up this. We're going to 
uh, hook together some little tunnels, um, get this all prettied up. And then in the next episode, we will be working in here. Check out this room. <laughs> I dug all of this out. It took many, many hours. Um, this is the future home of our massive slime farm that we will be building. Look at the size of this thing. Um, this is, it's six chunks. Uh, you can see there's a slime over there already. Uh, the chunk that this beacon is sitting in right here is not a slime chunk, but I have confirmed that this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are all slime chunks. So we have five slime chunks that all border this chunk. And uh, just from digging it out, I got all of that slime to the point where I don't even need a slime farm anymore because I have so many slime balls. But I'm going to build it anyway. Probably going to try to add an XP farm to it as well if we can get the spawn rates up high enough, which I think we can do. Um, the first benefit, um, if you look real close, you can see like a darker blue. Um, I actually have Optifine on right now, I guess. Uh, no, I don't. Never mind. Oh, yes, I do. I just unturn the controls. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Every time you turn Optifine off and back on, it resets this. Ah, there we go. You can see that is water up there. Uh, this is actually underneath. We look at the F3 screen here. This is a deep ocean. I need to update Optifine. In fact, now this had one benefit and one downfall. The downfall was the ocean came so low. If you look real close, it's probably really dark on YouTube. I don't know how well you can see it, but this wall up here, the top is all cobblestone. Um, hopefully you can at least kind of see that. That whole area was an ocean. And I had to fill um, this whole area, and I would say it was deeper in some parts, shallower in some parts. I would say it probably averaged out to maybe six full layers of water, which I had to fill in with dirt and gravel before I was able to dig this out. So that took some time and was kind of annoying. But the great thing about it is, with a deep ocean right here, the whole area around us um, is almost all water and it's so deep that it's going to greatly limit the amount of caves that are around us uh, and so that means there's a lot less spawn area here kill this guy and what that means is we don't have to do a whole lot of cave lighting in order to get some great spawn rates of slimes down here so that's going to be really really nice I think we can probably get an XP farm going over here um, but we'll probably start working on that in the next episode. Uh, today, real quick, like I said, we're just going to do some tunnels here. And then I'm going to head back to spawn and stick some slime balls in Zaidmart. And uh, yeah, that should do it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab some supplies. I need to uh, move this tunnel. I'm going to have it come out of the center of this wall like I dug a hole out over there. I'm going to have this go. That is the uh, the slime farm is going to be there. This is just a little connection to the old tunnel, which I, I might temporarily leave open and as long as that tunnel is being used. It actually does go to a few places still. Um, and this is where we uh, made our wither pinata a little while ago, just right down there. Uh, so I need to hook up some of these tunnels. And then on the other side, um, what we need to do, we're going to do the same thing with the tunnel on that wall, but we need to move this hole over there, and that is because we need to have something that comes back and goes up there to our hole, but also this is the ladder that I get down to the stronghold and to my lava farm, and as you can see right here, this is not mine. Now this is D-Face's another tunnel that she's been working on and her aim ended up going right here uh, spawns that way and she's like way out that way anyway my ladder was right in her way so I told her I would just move it because it's not an issue at all um, I needed to get a better way because this is a weird spot for the door anyway so I'm going to move the ladder down over here and then we'll have just like a little tunnel that goes up above 
to the ladder over there. And then this is my old entrance uh, from from the original tunnel, which is right over here. This is the tunnel I originally dug out myself at uh, like a one by two to get over here, and it slowly got opened up by various people to hold horses. But now it's like Jay uses this tunnel, and I use the tunnel, and D uses the tunnel, and the strongholds in this tunnel, and the uh, uh, the ice plains spikes biome is in this tunnel, and there's some other things over there. And yeah, it, it became just kind of more of a community tunnel, which is why I made my own tunnel over there. Um, but yeah, so that's what everything is. I'm going to grab some stuff, probably just kind of keep the same theme. We're going to hook up some little walls here and there, and we'll uh, head back and make some diamonds off slime ball. So I will see you all in just a second. All right, went ahead and got a little head start, figure out exactly what I wanted to do over here. Um, you can see I filled a little hole in here. I'll let me miss him. Ah, that's the wrong block. That looks darker. That's not supposed to look darker. There we go. I filled that hole in there, opened up this side uh, like this. This way, I haven't done anything with yet. I might decorate it just uh, maybe to the tunnel there or something. I'm not sure how far I want to decorate it up that way. Man, these gas. Just a second. Music and sounds. Shh. Turn those down a little bit. Um, and then, let's see, right here, this is where I moved the ladder to go down um, to the lava lake to get lava for cooking as well as the stronghold entrance will be over there and then over here uh, I might do some mild, I'll probably just continue that just a little skinny thing, this ladder goes up on top of the nether in case we ever wanna go build a gold farm up there if we decide to use that style it's available uh, I don't have any exact plans for it yet, I just wanted to have it just in case so we're going to just finish up the other side here. Um, like I said, uh, next time we'll definitely be moving on. We'll get started on the slime farm. I may build some of the layers ahead of time off camera. Let's see. Up there. Just going to continue the same uh, style over here. Um, definitely going to do the slime farm, so be ready for that. And also, I've got... Uh, working idea hmm. I don't know if I have enough cyan clay I'm probably going to have to go get some more I have a working idea for a prank oops that's not pink um, I'm not going to say exactly what it is or who it is of course because that would give it away um, all I will say is it's someone that I think deserves it and uh, hopefully it will be coming soon so Keep an eye out for that as well. Let's see, we're gonna carry this corner. Let's just let's try this style. Oops, not there. I should be able to just continue this hallway like this the entire way. Um, I closed in the tunnel on this side that hooks to that other tunnel because there's one over there anyway, and I was like, that's kind of redundant. I don't need it on both sides. So I got rid of the one over here. Um, main thing I'm not sure yet here is how I want to put the front of the portals. But I was thinking about trying some stairs and seeing how that will look. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to farm more cyan clay to finish these hallways. But real quick with you guys, what I want to do is see what this portal will look like. So let's get the hall to there. Um, so we've got continuing the slabs on the floor. Well, we've got a little lag there. Let's come out here. Let's see, I need a crafting table. A few more of those. Let's just bring that to like right here for now and then. Uh, there they are. Oops. Not right there. I'm gonna see. Just come back a little bit. I want to show you what my idea is. We'll see how it looks together. Alright, so I need, let's see, some stairs and some stairs. 
Let's see what happens if we do this, because I don't want to put a full block there to let anything spawn on. But I thought this might look a little better having the obsidian even all the way around. Hmm. You know, I could... I could switch and have like a wood border go all the way around this. That would be another idea. Um, switch this. That would be an easy thing to check because I've got it on me. I could switch to that. That, that might work as well. I'm going to do that for now. Let me know what you think of that and let me know if you think um, doing a wood border around it would be. I'd basically just pick maybe a color that's not in use here so what did we use in here so that would leave uh, spruce uh, oak and acacia and just come in here and do like planks up the side and then stairs but have the stair like turn so it had like the little corner you know like that maybe something like that or I could even leave it like that and just have the wood show there too. Yeah. So let me know. Let me know what you think of this versus wood. I'm almost leaning to trying out the wood, actually. Mm. Mm. I could even uh, I could even add leaves with wood behind it. I could put leaves right here. And I think we'll do this. Like that, I have leaves there with the wood behind it, so it kind of matched the portals out there. Mm. Yeah. Something like that. That kind of is the style that the other portals are. It definitely looks different at the end of a hallway, though. Mm. I don't know which style I like more. Let me know what you guys think. Um, how should I make this portal at the end of the hallway look? I'm just going to leave it like this for the moment. I'll finish all these hallways off camera. I just wanted to show you what they were going to be. Just this, this just simpleness I think is going to work just fine. Uh, so now, let's uh, run over to Zade Mart real quick. We've got one more thing to do today. Alright, so let's go ahead and steal all of these. And we need a sign. Let's put these uh, right here. Slime. Oh, I do this in all caps. Uh, slime balls. Let's keep it consistent. One diamond per stack. There we go. Uh, so I am going to allow public access to my slime farm. Um, but these will just be for people until the slime farm is done. Uh, people can buy slime balls here, and also people may not want or have the time to sit at the slime farm and get what they need, so this is just kind of more another option. If you don't want to spend the time to get the slime balls, slime balls you can just come over here and uh, pay me a diamond for the slime balls that I have farmed. Um, I think that's going to do it for today. Let's just stick some storm music in here. Um, Spawn's coming along nicely. It's nice to have a neighbor over here. The shopping district was feeling pretty lonely. So it's good to have some more shops. Hopefully some other people will come. I bet, you know, you could kind of carve one into the mountain here. There's, there's a good spot right here for one as well. Somebody could put a shop right here. I know at least, uh, I think D had been talking a little bit about possibly building a shop of some sort. I don't know if anyone else is planning on it. It's really loud. But, but yeah, that's all for today. Slime farm next time. Look out for that. Again, keep an eye out for a prank coming soon to a too crafty server near you. And also check out, uh, I've got a new tutorial up if you're interested in that kind of stuff. It's on my sugarcane farm. I've also started doing some mini games. If you're interested in that, watch out for those. And if you want to see me do any other kind of videos, let me know. Any comments on today's video, let me know in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.